Welcome to the Hello, I'm Carl, and this is the Mud Waffler Club. Here we'll read books, write stories, and create drawings together. We'll write our own nonsense poetry. We'll make our own Mud Waffler Club badge. We'll colour things in, cut things out, read letters, answer questions, and eat biscuits. Are you ready? It's Mud Waffler time! Welcome to the Mud Waffler Club. Now you might be wondering what exactly is the Mud Waffler? Well, he's a small woodland mammal. A friendly furry tree troll. Try saying that really fast. He lives in my garden. Now he loves books and stories and making things up just like me. Now you might be wondering, who exactly are you? Um, I'm Carl. I'm Carl Newsom. I'm a children's book writer. I write stories like I Am A Tiger and I Am Not An Elephant. The same but different too. Um, lots of stories. We'll look at them all another time as the mud waffler goes on. Uh, but first, I think it's time for a biscuit. Biscuits! That was good. Now today we're going to read one of my books, I Am a Tiger, then we'll have a poetry party where I'll show you how to make your own fun nonsense poetry. For this you will need one giant toenail, three slices of the rainbow, one shell, one smell, and one dinosaur egg. No ring. You just need some words. Uh, it's really easy. We'll We'll look at it later and you will hopefully come away with your own nonsense poetry which you can share with everyone. Um, and after that we're going to look at the Mud Waffler Club mailbox to see if we've got any letters. And um, this is where the letters will be posted into. Once the letters are in there, the little flag at the back will rise up to let us know we've got some mail. Uh, so we'll end by reading the mail. Uh, now I think it's time for an, another biscuit. So here's how to make your own Mud Waffler Club badge, just like mine, which is here. On my website I have made some templates, which you can print at home and colour in. Uh, here's one that looks exactly like the Mud Waffler Club badge. If you wanted to colour it, you can make it any colour you like. Uh, rainbow. Anything. Here's one without the Mud Waffler on, in case you wanted to draw your own Mud Waffler, which would be very cool, I'd love to see that. And there is also one which is just the circle, so you can write your own uh, club badge on it as well. So it, it doesn't have to be exactly like mine, it can be anything. But if you wanted to make one, I'd love to see it. It's story time! Today we're going to read I Am A Tiger, which is written by me, illustrated by Russ Collins, and read today with kind permission from Macmillan's Children's Books. I am a tiger. No, you're not. A tiger is much bigger than you are, and it has a bit more grrr. Tigers can be small too. Grrr. Not that small. And a tiger has stripes. Some do. This one doesn't. So there, I am a tiger. A tiger could climb a tree, can you? I could climb a tree. I could climb to the moon if I wanted to. Most tigers can. I am a tiger. Go on then, climb to the moon. I can't just now. It's time for my lunch. A tiger hunts for its lunch. Grrr. I am a tiger. No, you're not. You're an... Achoo! Uh, uh, I am not an achoo. Uh, uh, I am a tiger. No, I am a tiger. A real tiger. <laughs> You're not a tiger. 
You're a mouse! Look at your tiny twitchy nose! Look at your little hands and feet! I'll bet you had cheese for breakfast! I am a tiger. I can do this! Can you? What about this? Oh dear. You, sir, are definitely a mouse and I am a tiger. If I am a mouse, then what are they? Who are they? Furry, stripy, funny looking face. This is a caterpillar. Long, red, likes to bounce. This is a balloon. Thin, pointy, hangs in trees. This is a banana. Tiny, colourful, sits on a stick. This is a lollipop. Now, I really must be going. My lunch won't catch itself. What a silly old bunch. There they all are. They're looking very confused. I am not a tiger. How could I be so wrong? Look at those teeth, those claws, that tail. It's obvious. I am a crocodile. Yes, he is standing on top of a crocodile. <gasps> and that was I am a tiger by me and Ross Collins. Now it's time for some nonsense poetry. For this we're going to use words that don't really make sense. Maybe we made them up. Uh, in lines that don't really make sense. Maybe we made them up. And we're going to put it all together, give it a big shake and a twist and see what comes out of the end. And hopefully it'll be something very fun. Now here's an example of some nonsense poetry I wrote, uh, and it goes like this. It says, in my imaginarium, I can go anywhere -ium. I only have to think it, and I'm there. I ate my breakfast on the moon, my lunch in a hot air balloon, my dinner in a lair with a bear. And that's it. Us to do one together, which I thought would be nice. Um, I have started a little poem. I've written the first three lines of this nonsense poem, and I wondered if you would like to help me finish it by writing the fourth line. Uh, the first line is I found a little elephant, which isn't something I'm likely to find where I live in London, but I did. I found it. The second line. Elephants don't fly, as far as I'm aware. Sometimes they do in films. This one taught me how to fly. The third line, one word, a question, how? And that's where I pass it over to you. So, I found the little elephant, it taught me how to fly, how? Now for it to end, we'll be looking at rhymes. Uh, words that end in the same sort of sound as fly, so why, hi, Goodbye, sty, and pie. Things like that. Now you can make it whatever you like. So long as it answers that question, I found the little elephant, it taught me how to fly. How? Well, we've got an answer here that's come in from Hattie and Noah. Hello, Hattie and Noah. Thank you for your answer. Let's put it all together and see how it sounds. So, I found a little elephant. It taught me how to fly. How? Biscuits and bananas in a blueberry pie. Brilliant. Biscuits and bananas in a blueberry pie. How fantastic. I found the little elephant. It taught me how to fly. How? Biscuits and bananas in a blueberry pie. Sounds like something the mud Wolfer would like very much indeed. Now let's see what you can come up with next. Um, if you like to finish off this nonsense poem, um, you can send it over to me on Twitter. I'm at Carl Wheel. I'll put it up on the screen in a sec. Um, I'd love to see what you come up with. Uh, just have fun. 
you don't have to send it in. It's just about having fun. Now it's time to check our mud waffle and mail post box to see if we've got any letters today. And I can see that we have. The little flag at the back is up to a letter that we've got some mud waffle and mail. Now let's have a look. We have three envelopes here. One yellow. Open me. Intriguing. One is a postcard. How nice is that? It's a little picture of the mud waffler with a small bug and it says, Hello, mud waffler, from Little Bug. That's for you, not me. Thank you, Little Bug. We'll pop that up there. And this one, mud waffler. Nearly off the page. Okay, let's open me first. Open me. And then inside it says, Open me. So we'll open you too. And inside that it says, now This is from Pigeon. Mud Waffler's friend, Pigeon. Now a ghost says boo, a pigeon says coo, or in this case, crrrr. So that's Pigeon playing the prank on us. Thank you, Pigeon. Let's have a look at the next one. A pink envelope. Inside is a letter folded up. Very small. Yes. It is a letter from Squirrel. Squirrel who lives in Mudwaffler's tree. And it says, Dear Mudwaffler, Emergency! Someone has stolen all my nuts! Have you seen the Wibbler? Wibbler. Apparently, Squirrel's nuts were all taken last night by a mysterious creature called the Wibbler. Now, Squirrel doesn't know what the Wibbler looks like, so maybe you can help. Have you seen the Wibbler? Is it small? Is it big? Is it hairy? Is it scary? Is it slimy? I don't know. Maybe you know. Let us know if you've seen it. Uh, perhaps you could send us a picture of it. Uh, that'll help. Then we can put a poster up to say, have you seen the Wibbler? And uh, we'll see if we can help Squirrel out, shall we? Thank you. If you'd like to send anything into the Mud Waffler, you can do via Twitter. Um, I am at Carl Wheel, that's K-A-R-L-W-H-E-E-L. -E -E uh, you can send me anything, use the hashtag Mud Waffler, and I'll find it on there. So if you want to make your own Mud Waffler Club badge, if you want to do some colouring in, which we've got some colouring in sheets on my website, uh, they look like this, so you can make your own Mud Waffler. And there he is, clutching a book. Uh, we've left the book open for you to write whatever you like. You can make it your own favorite book. Um, of course, we've got the Mud Waffler Badge template, which I showed you earlier, if you'd like to make one of those. Uh, if you'd like to do a drawing of the Wibbler, please do. We'd love to get a poster up. We could pop it up somewhere behind me and we'll stick one on the Mud Waffler's tree. Um, and if you would like to take part in our Nonsense Poetry Challenge, uh, please do send that in as well. Now, thank you for watching and have a fantabulous day. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. If you're feeling in a twizzle and you don't know what to do, here's a song that's made especially for you. Mud Waffler, Mud Waffler, even if it's been a while, Mud Waffler, Mud Waffler, it can help you find your smile if your biscuits are all broken and you've lost your pet canoe. If your words are in a wobble and your home looks like a zoo, if you're feeling in a twizzle and you don't know what to do, here's a song that's made especially for you. Mud Waffler, Mud Waffler, even if it's going wrong. Mud Waffler, Mud Waffler, you can find it in a song. Mud Waffler, Mud Waffler, even if it's been a while. Mud Waffler, Mud Waffler, it can help you find your smile. Oh, that's good.